guys, Pro Up 2010 with you today, and today I have another tutorial for you. And today I'm I should have probably made this tutorial quite a long time ago, but uh, better late than never. I'm going to show you how to use the basic commands such as copy, rename, delete, and move all inside of command prompt. And if you don't haven't followed along with my previous tutorials, we made a folder X in our C drive, and that's what we're going to use uh, to for our examples in this tutorial. So let's begin. Right now I'm going to show you how to delete a folder and how to delete, uh, maybe empty out a folder or how to delete a file instead of command prompt. So let's begin. We have here in our X folder, a music folder, pictures, text, trash, video, and video.mov. Right now we're going to delete this video file. Now, if you don't, if you don't have access to the graphical user interface to view the folder, you can just type in dir space and then you want to just press enter. It's going to give you all the information that you need. Uh, what's inside this directory in the CX folder and over here I have a video.mov now to get a more clear view of what just happened you want to type in directory dirs forward slash and B and press enter this is going to get rid of all this information that's not necessary such as the date time created and what kind of uh, file this is so usually the files that don't have a file extension are going to be the folders and files that do have file extensions are going to have an file uh, are going to be just individual files so I want to delete video.mov now the command for that is del space and then and then the name of the file and its file extension and press enter and it shouldn't give you any successful messages uh, it should just go on to the next line and if it does that then you have successfully deleted the file that you want to delete if we minimize this and we go back to our X folder you can see that uh, this file is no longer here so we got rid of it but you have to be careful what file you delete because once you delete a file you can't get it back it's not in the recycling bin it's gonna be permanently deleted off your computer alright so now I'm gonna show you how to delete a folder inside of command prompt now here we have a trash 1 and trash 2 trash 1 we're going to empty everything inside of the folder and then trash 2 we're just gonna delete the folder with everything inside it so if you know what I'm talking about let's let's get to the command prompt now we're in our X folder and let's delete the trash one. Now if you use the same command we used to delete a file, it's DEL and then trash one, press enter and it's going to ask you, are you sure that you want to delete this? You want to press Y on your keyboard. Once you press Y, you get a successful message. Not a successful message. If you go to the next line, that's automatically a successful message. We're going to minimize command prompt. And if we go back to our X folder, we see that the trash one folder is still there, but we have just deleted it. But if we double click, it has emptied out all the files that have been in this folder and just left the folder itself. Now to remove a file, to remove a folder that's empty, you would do R M, this can be memorized by remove, and then DIR and then the folder name. If it's empty, it won't ask you for anything. So it should remove a folder right now without any problems. So let's go to our X folder. As you can see, trash one is no longer in the in the folder X. This is because we cut, we deleted it this way, because uh, it was empty. Now, if it's, if the file if the folder has files in it, then it's going to be a little bit different. Now, let's see. Trash two has uh, trash two has files inside of itself. So, let's see how this is going to work out. If we do rm dear trash two, it's going to say the directory is not empty, so it's not going to allow you to delete this directory. Now, if you do rm dir dir space forward slash and then a question mark, it's going to give you some parameters here. You can see that the forward slash s is to remove all directories and files in the specified directory, blah, blah, blah. It just basically removes everything. And the forward slash q is so that it wouldn't ask for a verification like this. So if we apply both of these parameters, let's say when rm dir dir space and then forward slash s forward slash q and then do a trash two, then uh, it just moves on to the next line and doesn't give you any, it doesn't prompt you to enter Y or N, to, it doesn't ask you for verification. And if you minimize this and go back to the X folder, you see that trash two is no longer there. So that's how you delete folders inside of command prompt. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the, the move command. And uh, the move command is useful to move stuff from one place to another. So we're going to take the song and we're going to move it to the move here folder. So let's open up command prompt. Now we are currently in our folder X. And 
if you want to view the files that are currently in folder X, you tap in DIR and press enter. This is going to give you a result of what date it was created, the time, what kind of file this is, which is a directory, gives you the, the information of what kind of uh, space it takes up, all this kind of information, how much files, how much directories. If you want a simpler version of what you just saw here, tap in DIR space forward slash B, and that just gives you uh, the basic without all this info here. So move here. Now the files that don't have file extensions, like MP .mp3, this is an individual file. If it doesn't have a file extension, then most likely it's a directory. So uh, just keep that in mind. So let's move song.mp3 to move here. So to do that, you would use the move command. M type in move and then space what you want to move. If it's a song, if it's a file, or if it's a directory, you got to tap the name of that. So song.mp3 space and where you want to move it. We're going to move it to move here and press enter. Now it says one file is moved and if we minimize this and we go back to our X folder, uh, you can see that the song is currently in the move me folder. Now let me just copy the song and let me just show you something. Uh, if you want to copy the song to let's say the music folder, right? Uh, you would do what I, you would just, you would do what we just did. But if you want to, let's say you want to copy this or move it instead, not copy, move it to our desktop. How would you do that? You can't type in desktop because if you did that, if you just went to uh, move a song that MP3 to desktop, it's gonna say one file is moved. Yes, but when you go back, it just gives us a desktop. And what is this? You can't. It's uh, it didn't move it to our desktop, so. Uh, how do we get it to move to our desktop? Well, that's where uh, the absolute path comes in. So let's paste back our song here. And now we're going to move this to our desktop. So open up command prompt. And what you want to do is you want to type in move. Uh, you want to go to the folder where the file is at, which is our X folder. Move song.mp3. And you got to give an absolute path. So C, users, Dima, and then desktop. And that's how you do it to a specific folder. So I have one file is moved. And if I go back here, my file is no longer here. And if I go back here, I have a song.mp3 on my desktop, which has just been moved from folder X. So uh, let me just cut this back to my folder X. Right now, I'm going to show you how to move directories from one directory to another. Now, moving a directory from one directory to another is the same exact thing. You would, you would, uh, let's say you want to move, move here to music. To do that, you would type in move, move here, and then where you want. So we want to move, space. What we want to move is move here, space. Where we want to move, we want to move it to music. And it says one directory is moved. And as you can see, if we open up our music folder, move here is currently in that folder. So let's go back. Now let's say we want to move this to a desktop. We would do the exact same thing we would do with a file. We would do, uh, let's say, move, move here to C, users, Dima, and then desktop. And one directory is moved. And if we check our desktop, sure enough, the directory is on our desktop. So that's how you move files and folders inside of command prompt. All right, so right now I'm going to show you how to rename uh, folders inside folders and files inside of command prompt. So here we have move here. Let's rename move here to move. So how would you do that? You would use the ren command, R-E-N, and it's the first three letters of the word rename. So that should be easy to memorize. Uh, ren space what you want to rename. So if we're going to rename, let's re rename a song. So song.mp3 what you want to rename it to so let's do music.mp3 and press enter and it's going to change it's going to rename the file uh, that we just specified what if we want to re rename a directory how would you do that same thing ren and then the directory name which is move here just change it to move and press enter and you can see the directory changes what we what we made it uh, our specified name that we gave in this command. So that's how you rename files and folders inside of command prompt. Okay guys, so right now I'm going to show you how to copy files and folders from one place to another. Now I do have to warn you that in command prompt, I haven't yet found a way of moving 
uh, just the whole folder from one place to another. Instead, it's, it moves all the files from, one, from inside of one folder to another. So uh, if I find a way, I'll post a tutorial. But I've tried Googling it, I've tried searching for it, I can't find it. So um, just follow along with me. Let's copy the awesome.mp3 to our empty folder. So how would we do that? We would use the copy command. Copy, and then we would do awesome dot mp3 space and our empty folder now since this folder has a space we're gonna have to uh, put it in quotations so we do empty folder and then end the quotes and press enter and as you can see it says one file is copied and we, we open up our empty folder sure enough the file is there now make sure that you put quotations around folders that have spaces because it's gonna think that you're switching to another uh, to another parameter and it might give you an error back in return so just keep that in mind when you're when you're copying fol uh, two folders that have uh, a space there and let's move a directory from one directory to another so let's move move to the empty folder so how would we do that you would do copy move to empty folder enter and it's gonna move everything that's in it's gonna copy everything that's in this folder is going to paste it back in this folder. So if we were to do that to copy pictures to an uh, empty folder, it was going to add, it's going to ask you to override or not if the same files are contained in the current folder. Just press yes. And if you open it up, all the contents of from the inside of this folder, from the pictures folder, have been copied to the empty folder. So that's how you copy and paste uh, stuff inside of command prompt. By the way, if you want to copy something like awesome.mp3 to our desktop, you would do the same thing. Copy and then type in the name. And then you want to give it a specific path since uh, desktop is not contained in the X folder. So you see users, dima, and then desktop. Enter. And it says one file is copied. And over here, we can see that the file has been copied to our desktop. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, post them in the comment sections below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.